Hey everybody, this is Ian O'Byrne again. I'm going to take a look at the way that I search online. Uh, I was talking about this in class the other night, and as I was searching in front of the class, some of my students were like, it's kind of odd the way that you're searching. And I didn't think anything of it until I sort of stopped what I was doing and I went back to the actual process. And I was asking the students, like, what do you mean by that? And they said, like, your strategy, the way that you, you click and open new tabs and stuff like that, we've never seen it done like that before. Um, I don't really think too much of it, um, but then over the last week or two, I've been thinking that maybe there's something more to it. So I want to do a quick video on how I search. I do a lot of my, my reading and learning online, and I think that um, there's something that you can learn from this. So hopefully this helps you out. Uh, I'm going to talk about how to search online and learn um, and, and build up this skill set so you can be a, a super ninja as you learn online. So one of the things I've written about recently is divergent thinking, um, and I was trying to wrap my head around a lot of the complexities of divergent thinking uh, at, as I start to publish and start to write this up for a publication. I would dive into Google Scholar, and I'll show you how to use that later. But right now, I want to talk about how I learn online and how I just use the internet as a way to build up background knowledge quickly. So one of the things I'll do is I'll open up a, a browser tab, and I'll start off with something like uh, divergent thinking. Okay, so I'll, I'll scroll through and I'll find things that might be of interest to me. So obviously I wanna grab the link for Wikipedia. Now one of the keys here, and this is one of the things that stood out for my students as being odd, is that I open things in new tabs. Um, not new windows, and I don't just click through and go to the next page. Um, I don't want the next page. What I want is a new tab with that link. Okay, So I want to sort of sit on a page, and I want to scroll through and find things that are of interest to me. Um, so I can look through divergent thinking. This looks a little bit interesting to me. I'm going to open that in a new tab. What type of thinker are you? Uh, this is a piece that looks from uh, University of Washington, uh, Business Dictionary. I'm not going to use that one. So I'm going to scroll through and think of things or identify things that are, in, are of interest to me. And typically what I'll do is I'll drill down two or three pages into the Google's, Google Resorts, <laughs> results and figure out what things uh, are of interest to me. What I'll also do is I'll change the search term. Sometimes I'll let the Google, uh, the, the search engine identify things for me. Um, so what I might do is say, okay, what are crit divergent thinking examples? So here's more things from like study.com. So I'll basically identify a lot of different uh, areas that I like to head. And for each one of these, I'm saving a new tab for this. While I'm searching, I can say, you know, divergent thinking in education and see what people say in that area. So I can see here's pieces from like Edutopia. And I could say, you can see my scholarly articles are coming in, but I'm going to ignore those for now. I'm going to say in literacy education because that's a lot of what I focus on. So I can see what's in literacy education here. So I can pull this up. And then what I can also do is uh, some other real thing, real easy things to do is say divergent thinking good and see what people say about it. You know, and then I can also search for divergent thinking bad and see what general posts are up there, what people are saying about it. Another thing is um, what you can often do, what's, what's interesting to me is if you say like divergent thinking PDF, you can search online and see what PDFs are out there. Um, and this is really interesting because this is a lot of, a lot of times uh, academic or theoretical pieces or research that people will share out there um, that normally doesn't pop up in your normal search engine results. So I can pop that up and you know find different pieces here. Another one that's of interest is divergent thinking PowerPoint. Um, so what's cool about this is, you know, if someone puts together materials to go teach 
about divergent or convergent thinking. Um, they might put together a PowerPoint, share that out online. And so in that PowerPoint, they're sort of synthesizing and making this a lot easier for you to understand. And while we're here, one of the last things I'll do is I'll look at, uh, it, it's not really my focus right now, but convergent thinking, um, you know, I might want to save this for later, but for right now, I'm going to focus on divergent thinking. So now what I do is after I have a lot of these open, I sort of work my way through them and I take time to read through and figure out um, what is the information they are presenting here. And as I'm reading through, I might want to take notes. If I want to take notes, what I'll frequently do, as I talked about in another video, is I'll open up Google Keep. And so I can have a little tab here open where I'll sort of jot down ideas for divergent thinking or, or the topic that I'm, that I'm currently studying. So what I can do is I can have one window open, and, and I have two screens open, but for purposes of this video, I can go in and I can say, okay, I can title this Divergent Thinking. Come on. But you get the gist here. I can basically label this and I can start up one note for all of my materials as I'm thinking online, as I'm learning online. So I can come in here and I can grab a piece of text and I can pull this over to my note in Google Keep and save that. And then I can have like one long note or a series of notes uh, about a topic. And I can color code these, but I can, I can have a bunch of notes about this. And I could even say this is like my definition for divergent thinking. So what I'll do is I'll work my way across the tabs and I'll sort of process them. And if this is a, a note that I have the time to process, I have the time to read this and make sense of this, what I'll often do is after I'm done reading it or after I'm done making sense of it, if I'm done with this, I get rid of it. Okay, um, There's no need to keep it on my radar at that point. But the, the fun thing is, uh, if I find something that is of interest to me, but I don't have enough time. So I might look at this and say, okay, I don't really need this. So I'll, I'll do a real quick uh, sift through this material and figure out what's sort of in scope and what's out of scope. Like what do I want to pay attention to and what do I not really care about? So this might have a couple good examples um, that I want to keep. And if I look through this, this has some interesting strategies that I want to keep. Um, what I could do is I could uh, save this page to Google Keep if I wanted to, um, and it would pull all of the text into a note, or I could take different pieces and just put it into a note. But what I'll generally do is I'll just sort of sift through the materials and see what's in scope and what's out of scope. Um, if I have the time, what I will do is I will save notes in Google Keep um, and make sense of it as I'm working. But a lot of times I, I don't have the time to process. Um, what I want to do is I want to save that information for later. So frequently what I'll do is I'll go in and like I said, I'll do that divergent thinking search and I'll save new tabs. And if I have the time, I will sort through. Um, but sometimes I don't have the time. So what I want to do is figure out a way to make this accessible later on. So I'm going to go back to this Edutopia piece. And this looks like something that's uh, really good. That's something that I want to focus on. And I want a little bit more time to make sense of this. So I know for some reason as I'm writing my piece or conducting my research, this will be important. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll take notes in Keep. But what I also do is I use a bookmarking tool. I use Pinboard. Um, so what I'll do is I have, this is Google Chrome. I have my pin board extension here. What I'll do is I'll click on this and it will save the URL, the address of it. I will save the title of it. It'll give me a little block quote there um, that to help me remember it. Uh, and then what I'll also do is I'll say, okay, this is all about uh, divergent thinking. If I could spell correctly. And so it saves that note for me so I can go back to it at a later date. So if I go into Pinboard, the nice thing is it'll save all of my bookmarks. And so I can 
take my time to do the random searches, create the new tabs, sift through the information, but then at the same time, here is this note that I just saved. So this is my note on uh, divergent thinking that I just kept. This is in my Pinboard feed. And Pinboard is just a, a lightweight bookmarking tool. So it'll save that link for me. But the reason why I like this is at a later date, I will go looking for this. Um, so what I can do is I can go in and click on edit. And I can uh, indicate that this is something that I want to read later. So on my iPad or on my phone or back here on my browser, I can select all of the things um, that I have to read. Um, you know, I'll label them as unread. So what I can do is I can say, okay, this is something I want to read later. Um, if I want to, I can uh, save it. So now I have this link and I have it designated as something that I have to read. And it's something that at a later date, at a later time, when I have the, the, the headspace to deal with it, I can go back and I can save this. Uh, I, I can read this and process it later on. So what I'll do is I'll open up these different pieces and you can see that some of these I can star. So these are things that I'm working on now. But for the most part, what I do is I identify things I wanna read. I do multiple searches very quickly. One of the key components here, the thing that stuck out as odd to my students is that I open in a new tab and then I save a bunch of tabs and then I take the time to process or work my way through the tabs. As I'm working through the tabs, my mindset is generally, do I need this? Do I care about this? Do I want to spend more time? Um, and the nice thing is you want to come across materials that you don't want. So the, the key here is searching and sifting. So I'm quickly looking through, figuring out things that I definitely don't need, but I'm adding all of these tabs. I'm not taking any time as I'm, as I'm looking through my search engine results and opening in a new tab, I'm, sp I'm spending very little time deciding if this is relevant or not. I'm just, if it looks really, if it looks relatively good, I'm opening it in, in a new tab. Then when I'm done that process, I want to have 10, 15, 20 new tabs open. And then I can go through each tab and say, okay, this tab right here by the free dictionary, I don't want or don't need that. It doesn't help me at all. This tab here, okay, this tab helps me a little bit. Um, I, I have questions about are they going to stop me from reading some of this. Um, so for right now, what I would probably do is I would save this in Pinboard. Okay, so I would save this, I'd label it with divergent thinking. And I would say read later and hit submit. And then now this is off in my feeder, this is off in Pinboard where I know I have to come back to it and I need to read it at a later date. No, so the service isn't available right now. <laughs> That's not good. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm saving these different tabs, coming back, processing them, and trying to figure out um, when I'm going to read it and how I'm going to process it. And for some reason, there we go. All right, thanks, Pinboard. Um, so I'm saving all of these over in Pinboard. What I'm also doing is um, either before or after or at the same time I'm integrating stuff into Pinboard, I'm taking notes in Google Keep. If it's something really good like this page here, what I would probably do is just save the whole page into Google Keep. Um, so I notice that this is already saved. I can come look at the whole note. And then the nice thing is, as I'm writing, you know, when I write, I will open up a Google Doc and I, I will have all of my materials ready to go. I'll have that Google Doc open. Um, and what I can do is, as I'm writing, and I have other videos about this. As I'm writing, I can have this note from Google Keep open. I can open up Pinboard on a new on a new screen and say, okay, show me everything that I have about divergent thinking. So I can sort of open up all of my tabs and I can say, okay, what is, I know I have more than that. I can say, okay, what are all of my tabs about divergent thinking? Um, so you can see, here is some of the stuff I had previously. I can come back to this at a later date and make sure that I fold this into my writing. Um, last thing we'll talk about while, while we're here is 
one of the things that I also do is I'll go into divergent thinking um, along with, and this is a super secret ninja tip, along with the PDF or the PowerPoint. Um, another thing I'll do is I'll search for divergent thinking and I'll go to images. Um, I also do the same thing when I go into uh, YouTube and I'll have another video on that. But a lot of times what I'll do is I'll search for a topic and go through the all search and, and search that way. But I'll also look, I'll also look at the images to see how other people are visually explaining the concept. So this helps me out a, a lot as well because I can come into this and I can click on this link here. And from that link, I can go look at just the image to make more sense of it, or I can take a shortcut and go right to the website for that image, for that page, and see the other information that um, this individual put out there about this topic. Um, so once again, this is the way that I search online. These are the skills and strategies that I use. A lot of this stuff involves, uh, the key takeaways here is primarily I open up a search engine or, you know, open up a search engine, doesn't really matter which one. I will um, open every link that I think I might be interested in reviewing. I'll open every link in a new tab. And the goal is at the end of my searching, which should took, would, it should take me 10, 15, 20 minutes. At the end of that process, I should have about 15, 20 tabs open. Then I take about 20 minutes to sort of quickly sort through the different tabs to make sense of what I want to pay attention to and what I don't care about. Things that I want to pay attention to, I will save over in Pinboard, and you can go in and see my pins and my bookmarks and everything that I've been reading, uh, the good, bad, and the ugly, and see things that I've been paying attention to. A lot of these bookmarks or pins show up in blog posts, they show up in my publications, they just show up in general ideas I have or things that I teach in class. And then what I'll do is I'll sort of synthesize this along with all of my other content into things that end up in a note in Google Keep or a Google Doc for writing into a blog post or a publication. So once again, that's my research process online. Hopefully that helps you out. Um, I think that it works for me. I think it's one of those things that should work for other people. If this is of value to you, please check out my blog, check out my website. I have this and then some on there. You can go in and see where some of these ideas uh, turn into full blog posts or other ideas later. Um, so you can check out my blog. You can also see this uh, information and then some in my newsletter, Too Long Didn't Read, is a weekly publication where I'm looking at uh, teaching, learning, and tech, uh, and it's meant for pretty much like the, the progressive intellectual or the progressive educator. Um, so once again, hopefully that's of value to you. By all means, please subscribe to the video if this helps out. Uh, leave me a note or comment if there's something else you'd like to see, and have a great rest of the week.